Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the pack with me video that I've been talking about in my last vlog, in my last video. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I have this like Alex drawer right here on both sides of my vanity. I'm going to go through this one in today's video and pack this up in a box and then I'm going to go through my other one in another video and then the long Alex drawer I have and then my little shelf right here in a video as well. So there'll be three separate like pack with me makeup related videos. So today we're going to be starting with this guy. I'm going to do like a montage of packing with music or anything like that and then we'll go through each of these individually. See if I want to get rid of anything, talk about some products so on and so forth so yeah that's kind of like my goal with this video hopefully we can get through this quickly and get everything packed up so let's go ahead and get started so right here at the very top um you kind of can't see but i've laid out makeup that i'm going to keep out for this week it consists of like my naked skin concealer anastasia pomade and the um, brow gel the maybelline foundation just things that i know that i can just use really quickly for this week, so I'm packing everything up. So starting with the top drawer right here, this is like my powder drawer. I have a lot of freaking powders in here and I know there's a few that I can get rid of and some that I'm gonna keep. Um, I like these little organizers. I believe these were off Amazon. So I have like an array of like organization in here. I have the Hourglass powder I'm gonna keep. Um, Loose Maybelline Fit Me is one of my favorites. This one, this Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, I literally love so much. I broke the top off of this. I use it so much and I travel with it and I'm not going to get rid of that. I love the Models Own Powder. You can't buy those in Ulta anymore, which sucks, but I do like this. I also do like the Rimmel Stay Matte. And I hate, absolutely hate the Makeup Forever HD Definition Powder. I have this one and then I thought I had like a mini one of it somewhere, but I guess I don't. So I'm gonna set this one aside. I have the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder, which this is from Shop Masse, which was a dollar. This is so perfect for your under eyes. It smooths out my under eyes. It doesn't add any creasing. It literally looks like you put a filter on, and I love this. This is in the shade Soft Light. So I'm just gonna like put this over here. I have this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. Um, I've never used this and it's set in here. Um, I do want to use it because it's like a pore primer so I think this would be kind of cool around my nose so I'm gonna hold on to it. I also have this mini Laura Mercier um, translucent loose setting powder. I'm gonna keep this. The Essence Brighten Banana Up. I like this. I'm not a huge banana powder person but I like this as well as the next one I just tried because these are more like light banana shades. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And then I have the Wet, uh, the Wet n Wild Color Icon of Bronzer. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really like the consistency of this. It's like, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it and I don't like that to set my face, so I am gonna get rid of this. I have the Sephora, um, what is this? Pat, Matte Perfection Matte Powder Foundation. I'm gonna get rid of this. I've literally never used this and I'd rather keep the It Cosmetics one. And then I have the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I've used this so much, you can tell. I've actually hit pan and I want to finish this, so I will be keeping this. As well as Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this and I have another one in my purse. I'll also be keeping the Wet n Wild. This is another really good one. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I've used this so much. I've literally like flattened out the dome. This is Milani Prep Set Glow. I'd have to say that the Milani one and the Wet n Wild one are very similar consistencies and formulas. They both kind of give you that nice sheen, but I feel like the Wet n Wild one is a little bit more um, not as glowy. And I have this Clinique powder right here, which I've literally had since probably junior high, so I think it's time to get rid of this. Yeah, next thing I have back here is this e.l.f. Luminous, like, loose powder, and I don't really remember how I feel about this, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna put this aside, but this Maybelline Master Fix loose powder, I do not like, this is just like the Makeup Revolution one and I do not like it, the flashback on these are terrible. I have this container right here which is full of RCMA powder as well as the actual like RCMA powder bottle and I've taped it because they leak terribly and I needed to label this. So I will be keeping both of these. I just wish they would make like a better packaging situation. I will also be keeping my Airspun, love my Cody Airspun powder. So these are Maybelline Fit Me powders. One is in 110 and one is in 100. I will be keeping these. Get L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I do like this. I don't use it like on my under eyes or anything. I just use it on the, like the perimeters of my face. And this is nice on days when I want a little bit more glow, like in the summer. 
The Ulta Fabulous Face Press Powder is another really good powder. I feel like it's pretty similar to um, like the Hourglass Powder or like the Milani Powder. It just gives you kind of like that natural, fresh looking face. And then I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder, which is another favorite of mine. I love like the whole Better, better Skin line. This is another favorite of mine, the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Powder. This is another one of these, like the Infallible, that kind of gives you more of that natural glowy look. The LA Girl Pro Face, this is okay. It's not my favorite. I haven't used it as often, but I'm gonna keep it to use it more. And the Revlon Color Face, same thing. I feel like once you get to powders like these, they get pretty similar, but I do use them. They're easy to just kind of chunk on. And then one powder I do love is the Flower Beauty Loose Powder. This is so messy and such bulky packaging, but I really love the formula this to bake with. And then I have my, probably my top two. This and the Maybelline Fit Me are my two favorite loose powders. And the Milani one I did keep. Um, this is a Cover FX powder. I will forever repurchase this my entire life because I love it so much. And then I have the number seven loose powder as well I will be keeping. And this thing over here is so dirty. But that's everything I'm gonna be keeping out of here. I got rid of um, five things, which is pretty good. I didn't really expect to get rid of anything if we're being honest. So that's a win in my book. So I'm kind of just going to move stuff around real quick. That way the door will close. Cause I'm not gonna like rearrange this right now. I'm just gonna make sure it closes. And so this shore in here is concealers, brow products and color correcting products back here. Um, I've kept the concealer, like I did say, it was an Urban Urban Decay um, Naked Concealer. I'm not gonna have too many concealers I'm gonna want to get rid of just because I'm like, I love concealers as well as highlighters. Um, my highlighter problem is very bad. But I'm gonna keep um, ColourPop. I love the Too Faced one. This one's really nice and natural. The Essence one's newer to me and the coverage on the Essence Camouflage Concealer is amazing. Um, Kat Von D, I'm gonna use up. I would not repurchase this again, but I will use it up. Shape Tape is a yes. Better Skin, I love this line, like I did say about the powder. I have three of these, actually. I love these, and they're, I'm sure they're all in different shades. 10, 20, and 20. So I'm just gonna like, I guess I'll just hold on to these. I also have the Revlon one right here. I don't really remember if I was like a huge fan of this. Um, I'll just put this one aside for now and think about it. I love the Fit Me though. The Fit Me is awesome for covering any type of acne. I also have another one. I have it in the shade at 10. So we're keeping both of those. Um, this one's really nice. I love the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. I have this in the shade Light Cool. Um, the matte concealer, I love this stuff. As you can tell, I've used so much of it and I absolutely love it. Another one I like is the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. This one's a really good drugstore one as well. Um, Wet n Wild one is really good too, so I'm gonna keep the Wet n Wild one as well as this Milani one. I just wish the Milani one was in better packaging. Um, the NARS I will be keeping. Um, I like this Maybelline Master Conceal and the LA Girl. These are both kind of like more thicker concealers for the under eye and stuff. So these I have to be like really needing some coverage for. Get rid of the Rimmel Match. This is a really nice kind of light concealer as well as the Wet n Wild one. I'm gonna um, keep the Wet n Wild one though because I love this for brightening. Same with this, but this one's kind of, almost, this one's like basically empty and this one still has some more product in it. Um, I have this Dior Skin Sculpt and I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. There's really not much in it. The e.l.f. one I'm going to get rid of. Their new e.l.f. one is way better than this. Um, the Age Rewind, I love this for brightening under eyes and dark circles, so I'm gonna keep this and I need to repurchase another one. Uh, the Rimmel Lasting Breathable I will be keeping. And then the L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is pretty dang glowy. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it and just use it up, but I don't want to repurchase this again. It probably won't. I just don't like wasting makeup and like wasting money and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm probably just gonna keep that. And then I'm just gonna get rid of these four right here. So moving on to this little brow thing right here, I probably won't get rid of much. The Essence one is good. The Benefit one is good. ColourPop one is good. Um, this e.l.f. kit's good whenever I want like a powder and a gel. So I like to keep this. Most of these pencils and everything, I really, I'm not gonna get rid of any in here actually. So I'm just gonna move that back to the side. And then this is my brow gel container. I don't know if anything's gonna go in here. 
Um, Anastasia one I'm keeping, Essence one I'm keeping, Backup Essence I'm keeping. This is the Brow Gel, the Brow Gal um, Brow Mascara. I'm gonna keep that because I love the fibers. This Brow Precise, Precise from Maybelline's good. This is another backup from the Anastasia Brow Gel I'll be keeping. I'm going to get rid of the Wet n Wild Mega Clear. I don't ever reuse this. And then the only two clear ones I'm gonna keep are the NYX and then the Pixie one. The NYX is my favorite though. I have a mini Benefit Gimme Brow I'm gonna keep, and then the Brow Drama Shaping Chalk I'm going to get rid of. This is just really weird, and this is really hard to use to shape your brows. I don't, I don't like the tip. It's just, it's just weird all around. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, another mini Anastasia I'll be keeping. And then these two are the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Mascaras. I like both of these. I don't, I feel like one is more low on product than the other, but I really could not tell you. So I think I'm just gonna keep both and use these up because I do like them. And then um, the NYX one, I feel like I remember not being that big of a fan, but the Wet n Wild one is good too. I think I'm just gonna keep both and then um, just use them up. Okay, so this thing right here is full of color correctors that I've literally never used in my entire life, except this. This is a backup of the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade for neutral. I have this one backup because I like it so much. But I've literally never, oh, this is a backup too. Oh, okay, so we'll put that one in there. See, I knew I had a backup of that Rimmel one. We'll put that in there. So now this is literally color correcting that I've never used in my life. Um, I don't ever color correct. This one is nice. This is like one I would keep because it has this like metal applicator that's really cooling. It's from Hard Candy. It's a Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. It depuffs, brightens, smooths, primes, and moisturizes. So I think I'm just gonna keep this and like get rid of everything else in here. The only thing in here is like this Becca thing, these two green ones from LA Girl Mix, and this is Essence. I just don't use them enough. Okay, so this is a foundation drawer. Um, this is going to be a little bit harder and more tedious because as you can tell, I have a lot of foundations. I kind of have it categorized. Those are like more tube products back here. These are kind of like random, more dewy foundations, and these are a lot of my favorites. <laughs> So I don't see myself getting rid of a lot, but I do see myself getting rid of some of them at least. Um, so we're just gonna go through here real quick. Tarte Shape Tape, I will be keeping. I love this for if I'm having any photos done, dinners, really fancy days, weddings. I love using this on my skin. Um, the CoverGirl Vita's Healthy Elixir. This is like the only natural kind of dewy-ish foundation I can use and it doesn't look like crap. So I will be keeping this. I have both Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. I mix both of these, Soft Beige and Nude Ivory. Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, which I'm like more than halfway done with. And this is probably hands down my favorite, probably top two favorite drugstore foundations. So I will be keeping this one. We'll be keeping the Urban Decay All Nighter as well. This is up there with like my Tarte Shape Tape. If I want something full coverage and flawless, I will reach for this. And I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless as well as the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. So I will be keeping these two. The second skin foundation from Lala Fox is one of my favorites and unfortunately I can't find this anymore at Walmart so I want to use this up and then maybe find it again maybe they have a website I don't know but I really enjoyed this um the one like dropper thing I do like I have both of these so I love the Catrice HD liquid coverage I will be keeping this. I'm gonna get rid of the NYX total control um drop foundation I prefer my um Catrice one more over this the Maybelline dream liquid mousse foundation I will be keeping this as well I have the Revlon color stay makeup in the shade 130 I will be keeping this makeup revolution one I've only tried this a handful of times and really don't have like the strongest opinion. I remember it looking weird on my nose, but I want to keep it and try it out some more. Um, the Too Faced one I will be keeping. The Milani one, I really like this. Very full coverage, but I need to get a lighter shade. And then two other ones I really enjoy, the LA Girl Pro Matte and then the BH Cosmetics one. And then I do have a thing of the Catrice um, Darkening Drops for during the summer that I like. The next thing I have right here, this is more random foundations that I kind of like have more dewy finishes or I don't reach for as often, which kind of is a lie because I literally reach for this Fenty one all the time. So I'm just gonna go to pull this one up there. I literally will always repurchase the Fenty one. I love that one. Um, I'm gonna get rid of both of these like cushion foundations, the Wet n Wild Maybelline one. I just don't use these enough, honestly. 
Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Doing Smooth. I do like this whenever I can get away with a dewy foundation. This one's very nice. And the Kashuk, I really like this and I don't think you can buy it anymore. So I'm just going to use it up. The um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi, I am going to get rid of. This is just way too much for me. Keep the essence fresh and fit as well as the Neutrogenia, Neutrogenia Hydro Boost. These are more kind of like everyday tint like foundation so i like to have these and i can wear them and get away with them with my skin type okay so back here i have the um like the tube ish squeezy tube foundations um right off of that i will be keeping the flower beauty ones even they don't make these anymore i refuse to get rid of them because i love them so much so i will be keeping all three of these the l'oreal um infallible pro matte i will be keeping and then i know i have a pro glow in here as well so i'll be keeping both of these i love these covergirl ones so much these are one of my favorite ones just kind of like throw on and go so i will be keeping both of these and then i have three things of the cosmetic cc i have one in fair light and then the matte one in light as well so i will be keeping all three of these um i know i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this elf one i will be keeping the hourglass stick foundation and then this is in the shade vanilla and then naked skin is a good one whenever i just want some light coverage as well as the um physician's formula so i only got rid of five foundations but i feel like that's pretty good considering that i love foundations so i'm just going to put all of these back quickly So this is my primer drawer. I have quite a bit of primers, as you can probably tell. So this is gonna be another area that I know I need to cut back on. So back here, real quick, I do have a thing of eyeshadow primers, which I don't need all of these by any means. So I'm just gonna pick out the ones I like, which consist of the Milani one, the NARS one I'm gonna keep. I like the um, glitter glue one for when I do use glitter. And then these are Two faced ones I'm gonna keep and then these three I will be getting rid of these are like the wet n wild one Ulta Beauty this is like a tinted one and this is like a Lorac one that I've literally never used in my life out of this little section right here I had some sprays these are just elf ones I'm gonna get rid of and then I have the Catrice prime and fine multi talent fixing spray I'm gonna keep this and then I'm gonna get rid of this hard candy hydrating. Um, Milani Make It Last, I will be keeping 100%. I really like this. And then the Wet n Wild one I'll be keeping. I am, I'm gonna get rid of the canvas ones and then I'm gonna keep the next one. And then I'm gonna keep both of the Wet n Wild ones. And then these right here are a mix of like squeezy tubes. The only other spray I have is like Fix Plus. Um, the Smashbox ones and um, the like coconut ones, which I, I'll just bring those over here real quick. I have like an acrylic organizer on my um, vanity of stuff. So this is what was on it. I'm gonna keep the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Tiny Primer Water I like to um, use when traveling and stuff. The Tiny All Nighter I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get rid of the Ulta Beauty. Or if you want I'm keeping, I've used probably like two things of this already. And then I have both of these Smashbox ones I'm keeping. And then I will be keeping my Fix Plus as well as my Urban Decay All Nighter. So moving on to these right here, I will be keeping my Rimmel Fix In Perfect Primer. I love this one and literally have only ever been able to find it on Amazon. I can't find this one in stores anymore, but I will be keeping it. And I only have a little bit left. These Catrice ones I will be keeping. This one is the Anti Shine and this one is the Nude Glow. I keep the Garnier Five Second Blur as well as the Catrice Prime and Fine like putty primer. And then I'm gonna get rid of this Ulta one. I'm going to keep the Maybelline Baby Skin as well as the Essence and the Wet n Wild one. I'm gonna keep the Smashbox and the Milani. And to get rid of the Becca Backlight one, this one's like kind of empty, I think. And then I'm gonna keep the Rimmel and then um, keep this one for travel. This Becca one's more full, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep the Angel Bell, keep the Cover Girl, and then I really like this Glossier one, so I'm gonna keep this one. Almay one's newer to me, so I'm gonna keep this. 
I'm going to get rid of this hard candy balm as well as the e.l.f. moisturizer. Keep the Wet n Wild one, and then I am also going to keep this Essence one, and then I'm going to get rid of this City Color Illuminating Cream. This Becca Backlight Primer, and then I'm going to get rid of the Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to keep both of these. This is the Milani Blur Stick and the Honey Do Me Up Primer by NYX. I'm going to get rid of the Shea Moisture Primer, and then I'm going to get rid of the Smashbox one. I'm going to keep the Too Faced one, as well as this e.l.f. Okay, so this is the last drawer in this Alex um, drawer system. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. This has a bunch of like face palettes in it, and I know there's probably a few in here that I can get rid of. So right off the bat, I'm going to be keeping this Physicians Formula Casey Holmes palette, which how the heck... Okay, there we go. I'm going to keep this. This is really freaking bulky, and... The lip thing is out of here, and then the butter perfume is actually with my perfumes, but I like these, so I'm going to keep this. Another Physicians Formula palette I will be keeping is this one in Medium Deep. I really like this palette. They're just so bulky, but the products inside are amazing. This also came with a butter perfume that I love. Yeah, Sculpt and Glow palette from Models Own is newer to me, so I will be keeping it. And I love both of these. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit. It's a cult classic, as well as the NYX one. I love both of these, and they have been used multiple times times. I'm going to keep the Tarte Tartus um, palette. This is really good for travel because it has two highlighters and a bronzer. So I really don't know if I'm going to get rid of much in here just because I really like all this stuff. Um, I think it's time for me to say goodbye to this Sephora face palette. I've had this for over a decade and I think it's just time for it to go. Um, I rebought I rebought the Los Cabos bronzer, and I could probably rebuy the blushes, but I think it's finally time for this to go. The Essence Peachy Bean palette. This was supposed to be in collaboration with Casey Holmes or something. Something happened weird with it, but I will be keeping this, as well as the Tardis Pro Glow. And then these Benefit palettes are like absolutely one of my favorite things ever, so I will be keeping this. The Maybelline Master Bronze. These are really nice if I just need something quick and I'm traveling or going somewhere overnight. I just throw like this one in my bag. It has a bronzer, blush, and highlight. These have bronzers and highlights as well. And then there's these two things from e.l.f. This one, I don't... Oh, that's a bronzer. I've literally never used that in my life. Wow, okay. And then this one is another e.l.f. thing. I guess this is, oh yeah, this is a face. This one's a lot more natural. I think I'm gonna keep the silver one and get rid of the black one. So this is all the makeup I'm getting rid of real quickly. I just wanted to like do an overview of this before I started the packing portion, but this is everything. It doesn't seem like a lot or, I mean, I guess it kind of does, but I got rid of a lot of things that are like almost empty or things I just don't use anymore. Things I don't really reach for or love and I feel much better moving and packing everything knowing I got rid of stuff. So this is everything. Um, now let's move on to the packing montage.
irritating, but I finished this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, keep out for part two and part three. I'm gonna do this one, as well as another one on the other side, and then this shelf thing on this side. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.